it is a landscape that is as ancient as it is stunningly beautiful for millions of years in the making carved out by nature and more recently by man a unique and distinctive corner of wales famed not only for its views but for the very stuff of which it's made slate made into an industry that once roofed the world an inheritance that could bring it world heritage status a dream that's been 10 years in the making and born out of a belief that the culture and history of this landscape belongs on the world stage in the same breath as the Taj Mahal and the pyramids and it's just one big decision away. That's because the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has backed a bid to win this Gwynedd landscape UNESCO World Heritage status. It would become the UK's 33rd World Heritage site and the fourth in Wales. We've now got to the point where the UK government is formally nominating this location and the slate landscape of North West Wales for World Heritage status. Um, that will be considered by the UNESCO committee um, and then in 2021 they're due to make a decision. Those who have worked so hard on the campaign believe it's vital that the area's story wins international recognition. Of course, the coal industry already has got uh, recognition and the tin industry in Cornwall. What is important is the slate industry gets that recognition that will bring international tourists to North West Wales. They're always um, uh, beneficial for the economy and it's important that the story, the heroic story of the slate industry goes around the world. It's part of the world heritage. Now, it's, it's one cultural landscape, uh, yes, but it's six separate areas, each of them telling the story of Welsh slate, how it was quarried or mined, how it was sawn and split, how it was loaded onto little trains and taken down to ports, and how villages and towns came into being to house the workforce and their families. So, for the time being, this great ambition hangs in the balance with the big decision made by the World Heritage Committee next year. Ian Lang, ITV News, Llanberis.